Hey guys, welcome back to the gun room. Today we've got another trigger on the bench for review. This one is from Forma Tactical. This turns out to be a company down in Texas. When I first learned about these triggers, they were being sold on eBay. And at first I was like, eh, I don't know about all that because... I mean, you got to be careful what you get on eBay. Some stuff's good, some stuff's not. A lot of it's made in China. And I had gotten in contact with these guys, and for whatever the reason, they had stopped selling on eBay, so I couldn't get in touch with them anymore. Well, I was perusing Google one day looking for uh, just different drop-in trigger options and happened upon these guys again. But it turns out these guys are actually right here in the States. They're actually based out of Texas. So I was like, wow, so this could be a definite viable option for the drop-in trigger market. Because these right here, guys, are 75 bucks, $75. And this model here is adjustable from two to six pounds, as they say. In the bag, it comes with a little Allen key, and of course the trigger itself, which is very, very, very nicely made. The anodizing on it is really nice. Got the little hammerhead shark there. Um, the uh, adjustment screw for your pull weight. Then it's got your two tension screws down here to get it snugged up in the lower after you run some anti-walk pins through it. So I'm definitely anxious to see how this thing feels and the reliability of it. I'm going to be sticking it in our... I'm sure you guys have seen this rifle quite a bit or at least the upper on this channel. This is our Franken upper, 16 inch fax and barrel, bootleg bolt. I think this is a Palmetto upper receiver. So I couldn't even tell you how many rounds that thing has got in it right now. But um, we're gonna kind of do a comparison here. Let's get a comparison of the mil spec style trigger that I have and we are empty in it currently. Now this is a nickel boron coated trigger. It's a little bit smoother than a, just a standard factory mil spec, but guys, it's still heavy. It's it's really, really heavy. So let's get a uh, baseline pull weight on this. So that one was six and a half. So let's try one more. Try one more on the, on the, the factory one here. And let's see here. Yep, about six and a half. So six and a half pounds on the factory style trigger. So, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to get this thing thrown in here. I'm not going to go over assembly, guys. You guys have seen me do this in previous videos. And Forma Tactical has a video showing how to adjust these as well if you're interested in that. It is very, very simple just by turning either in or out on that little set screw there to adjust your pull weight. So we're going to get this put in here and uh, we'll do another check with our trigger gauge and see what we got here. All right, guys, we've got our FT Hammerhead trigger installed. Went in very easily, nothing out of the ordinary. It uh, goes in a lot like uh, the velocity triggers with those Tension screws, those set screws there on the bottom, after you get your pins in, just tighten those up, snug everything down, and that seems to seems to do fine. So let's get the trigger scale back on here and see what we got. So this is right out of the package installed. I have not adjusted it at all, so let's see what we got here. All right, so considerably different. We got a little over four pounds, about four and a half out of that one. So let's reset it, get another pull on that. And that one was right at about four. So to adjust these, as I mentioned, there's that little set screw here. And we'll just take our little Allen key. And to increase pull weight, we screw it in clockwise. To decrease is going to be counterclockwise. So let's go one turn counterclockwise and see what that does for decreasing our pull weight. So that's one, roughly one turn. Put our pin back in, reset our trigger. Now let's see what that does. All 
All right, so that brought it down to three pounds. Wow. <laughs> so roughly about one turn will bring it down about a pound, it looks like. So let's take it down. Let's take it down one more turn and see if we can get it down to that advertised two pounds. So actually, I'm going about, oh, about half a turn. So about half a turn. So, and again, you know, your mileage may vary. You just kind of have to play around with it. But let's uh, try not to knock our stuff off the bench here. And let's try this here and see what it does. All right, so, well, that's a little under three pounds. So let me see what it kind of feels like in the hand. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really, really light, fellas. Oh, wow. There is literally no creep at all in that trigger, too. So I think we're probably going to leave it there. I may actually uh, firm it up a little bit. That's that's really, really light. I would not run that as just a carving trigger. Yeah, it'd be fine for a bench gun, match gun. But, man, I like my standard triggers at around three and a half to four and a half pounds. That's uh, that's definitely light. So there's no question that that uh, adjustment screw really does work. Um, I think overall, what I'm a little probably most concerned with is ignitability on our primers. This is using a very thin spring on the hammer, so I'm really anxious to honestly to shoot some wolf through it and see how well it um, it ignites it or doesn't. So um, we're going to get this thing back out at the hide here just a few minutes and we'll get the camera back there going and let you guys see some shots with this trigger installed all right guys we're back here at the hide we've got the franken ar out here with the forma tactical hammerhead adjustable trigger i have adjusted it to right around three and a half pounds that's normally what i like for just a standard overall carbine which is what this is so i'm just going to run a few uh unscientific rounds through it and just kind of see how the trigger performs and ma mainly just wanting to see if it'll set off the primers of those uh, wolf rounds as I know that they are a little bit uh, heavier in the primer and the only visual thing that I might have questioned on the trigger was the hammer spring looked a little thin so I just want to see if it's got the got the horsepower to ignite those primers or not so we're going to take a take a few shots and just kind of see how it does here but uh, I'm just going to start off with just some standard federal 55 grain FMJ all right no problem there all right moment of truth this is the uh, wolf 62 grain hollow point Not bad at all. There it goes. All right. So, granted, something like this, it's really going to take the test of time to really kind of see what it's all about. I mean, I know that, but for the price point, man. I tell you, it's hard to it's hard to say no to something like this. I will say, for the seventy five dollar cost of this, you will need to include a set of anti walk pins or some sort of pins to install it. You can pick those up nine to twelve dollars, just depending on what brand. So it's not a huge deal. Uh, if somebody was to ask me why would I choose this possibly over something else, the adjustability you can't adjust any of the other ones in this price range. So I mean that right there alone, you know that's that's kind of what where I was at with it. I was like, I'll take a chance. I'll buy one and just kind of see what it's about. So as far as right now goes, it's a definite recommend. I will definitely update this uh, trigger after I get a more significant round count. And if something were to change with that recommendation, I will definitely uh, post it up and let you guys know. But for right now, check it out. Form a tactical hammerhead two to six pound uh, drop in trigger. Thanks, guys. If you got any questions, feel free to post them up below. I'll put a link for our Patreon. If you're inclined to uh, donate or help the channel out, it's greatly appreciated. I, uh, 
I uh, have said a lot of times, you know, YouTube's defunded us, so every little bit helps, and uh, it's greatly appreciated, fellas. So as always, shoot straight. Later.